Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmies and welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we'll learn about variable scope. More specifically, we'll learn about local and global variable scope in C programming. So let's get started. In programming, a scope is a particular reason in a program and a variable scope determines which variable can be accessed from which reason of a program. In C programming, there are two basic types of variable scopes. They are local variable scope and global variable scope. Let's start with the local scope first. To understand the local scope, let's see an example of a C function. In my code editor, you can see function add numbers. This function takes two parameters and it stores the sum in the result variable and it prints the result inside the function. Instead of printing the result inside the add number function, let's print it after the function call. So I'll paste it here. So I have moved this line from the add number function to this main function. I will run this code. You can see we get an error saying result undeclared. This is saying the result is appeared for the first time in the line 11. You might be wondering how is that possible? even though we have declared the result variable here inside the function. Well, this is where the concept of local variables comes in. Any variable that is declared inside the function is a local to it. Meaning, the result variable is local to the add number function. This reason is called local scope and the result variable has no existence outside this scope. When the function ends, the local variables are destroyed. This is why we get an error when we try to use the result variable outside the local scope. Now, if you remember, we can solve this problem by returning result from the add number function. So I'll add return result and I'll change this void to int. Since the function now returns a value, I will now assign this function to a variable sum and then I'll print the sum. So I'll run this code. You can see the result is equals to 11, which is 5 plus 6. With the return statement, we are not using the local variables directly. Rather, we are returning its value to the function call and assigning it to another variable inside the main function. This concept of local variable is a good thing because anyone using this add number function does not need to know what's inside it. They just need to know what argument to pass and what value it returns and they can use this function without a problem. This makes our code reusable to not only us but also to our fellow programmers. By the way, if you are watching this, there is a good chance you want to improve your skills in C programming. Lucky for you, we have a mobile app that provides a well-structured C programming course with certification at the end and you can use the app alongside the video to practice on the built-in compiler. Our course is free, so download now by scanning this QR code or click the link in the video description. Another way we can solve our earlier program is using global variables. Global variables are variables that are declared outside of the function. Let me show you. So I'll use this code from earlier. As you already know, this code will generate an error. So now what I will do is I'll declare an int variable result outside the add number function. And then I'll remove this int from here. Now I'll run this code. As you can see, this code runs without any error. So what happened here is the result variable is declared in global scope. This is why we are able to access it from both the function, this add number function and the main function. That's it for this video. If you want to revise this concept, you can find all this program in our GitHub repository. The link is in the video description below. Now that we are at the end of this video, it's time for programming squeeze. In the following code, which variable is a global variable? Comment your answer below. See you in the next video. Happy programming.